Friends, hello again. So this time, very quickly, I'm going to talk about the problem of convexity, the one I discussed in antifragile, and concerning the supply chain problem, convexity or second order effect. This is a convex function. This is a convex, a concave function. So it means you have acceleration. Now, what does it have to do with the supply chain problem? Let's say if you drive two hours, the first hour at zero miles per hour, the second hour at 100 miles per hour, second hour, you spend a lot more energy because of convexity than if you do 50 and 50. And 50. You have convexity, second order effects in financial markets. If the market one day does 0% and the second day does 2%, you do a lot better when you have a convex payoff, my specialty derivatives, than when I have 1 and 1% 1 move. So this is something that is affecting us with the supply chain problem. So consider the following. 2,000, year 2,000 people buy zero, and year 2,000, sorry, 2020, they buy zero. 2021, they buy 100. It's going to cause prices to explode much more than if they bought 50 and 50. And now the outcome of a convex response to a supply uh, that is probably not adapting to swings in demand. You have zero demand and a huge demand. It's just, it's just a squeeze. And I exp I've explained it in Dynamic Hedging, my first book, as Consider that the world is like a large movie theater with a very small door. Thank you for listening, and till the next time.